Hey guys, it's Jamie, and we're back again with some more work on my BB-8. So, uh, as you can see here, I've got the hollow lens installed and the eye, the radar eye lens. Uh, this popped out earlier, so I have to readjust the actual position of it. But uh, kind of wanted to let you know where to get that at. Uh, you can pick it up at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's a clear plastic ornament. It uh, comes in two halves. So when you pick them up, they kind of look like this. And they're about a, a buck fifty each. So I picked up two sets of them uh, just so I can kind of practice on these because they're cheap enough to where I can do that. So um, the hollow lens eye was picked up from uh, the BB-8 Builders Forum, the, the, the club forum. Uh, there's a run of these, they're about five bucks a piece. Uh, basically all they are is uh, cast resin, tinted resin pieces. Uh, if you see it, you can see in better lighting, you can see some of the tint kind of swirly. It's not perfect, but it's it's good. You, you wouldn't be able to see it normally, so. Um, and then we got the other PSI lens down, down below there. Anyways, so um, essentially what you have to do is cut this out and then it fits right along the inside edge of this. I have to still glue this in. So the other thing I picked up was a sub rubber buff. I just kind of went over this a little bit. I got to touch it up and clean up a little bit, but it's looking a lot better. I originally put aluminum on there. It looked a little too shiny. I tried roughing it up and then uh, weathering it and it didn't look good. So the rub and buff kind of cleared that up and makes it a lot cleaner with some wear still look to it. So, uh, but that being the case, we're going to move on to the magnetic dome part. So what this is, is it's got three pockets here for magnets and I'll flip this over for you so you can take a look and see. Look at that lovely eye. It's awesome. All right. So on the bottom of this, we've got th three magnets, three magnets with copper bolts in them. Now the reason you why you do that is because the uh, copper is non-magnetic. You don't want a bunch of magnetic parts running up through the dome section here where you're going to end up with uh, electronic parts. So as I said, basically these three parts here align with the magnets at the bottom down there. There's a 110 or 115 pound pull magnet that goes through there. And then we have our, our, our uh, bearings here that will be the riders for the dome on top of the ball. So what we're looking at is some Teflon bowls, super slippery Teflon bowls. And I believe these are nylon. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but I think they're nylon. So what that allows it to do is you can take and rotate this and, and it'll rotate the balls. And that rotates on top of the, 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 the race there. So basically it's like a giant ball bearing. So, and I've 3D printed a, a few of those. So, that being the case, what happens is you, there's that clearish looking plate at the bottom. That attaches to the top of this. It keeps the uh, races down so they don't move. And then allows the balls to uh, make contact with the body and allows it to hopefully roll around. So, but uh, that's pretty much about it for today. Um, I've got some other stuff planned for this evening. so. Unfortunately, I won't be doing a whole lot of work on my BB-8. Um, but if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, share. It always helps me to know that you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, guys, do your thing. Thanks for watching.